I gotta make some sort of short video while I try to work on my much longer, much crappier one, but instead get distracted by the McElroys. So, um, here you go. Dream Daddy is basically what happens if someone jokingly said, Hey, what if we made a dating sim about dad jokes? And then their friend said, I'm already halfway done programming it. And then they went all the way through with it. And then it became the number one game on Steam because it was backed by the Game Grumps. Thanks, Aaron. When the game starts, you get to Build that dad! You can actually just make your dad Goku. But no, we need to make the perfect dad. First, a large, thick dad body. Then, large red eyes to see your sins. A big ol' nose to smell your crimes. But, in order to make him non-threatening, we give him a cute little mouth. He's got some safety goggles for when he builds a fallout shelter by hand. But, to appease his daughter, he got the pink-colored ones. Finally, give him some impeccable fashion sense. This fine man here I named Dad Boy, on account that I've been watching a little bit too much McElroy Brothers content recently. He has a daughter named Amanda Ann Boy. She's... alright. As a dad, I have to help her work through her problems and be supportive while also cool as a cucumber, but with a firm hand. Too bad I never actually learned what her problems were, but... Says I got the good ending, so I did good, I guess. Congrats, dad boy. Of course, the main appeal of the game comes from dating your... Each of them has little grunt and exclamation voice clips, mostly by the Game Grumps themselves. There's I'm a better dad than you, Brian. You know I had to do it to him, Joseph. Snazzy jazzy man, Matt. Dude bro, dude man, Craig. Teacher guy, Hugo. Please call the cops on this man, Robert, and Vampire that sounds vaguely like Cryotic Damien. I originally was going after Brian, but then I realized that Craig was the only one I actually liked. After getting together three times by talking on Dad Book, and me doing some save scumming, Dad Boy starts to exercise, goes on a camping trip, and bangs Craig. Got his good ending, and a bonus picture. Overall, this is kind of a mediocre game. The art was really well done, and some of the jokes are okay, but... The music doesn't really stand out to me, and the characters just all seem really bland and uninteresting. Like, even after reaching the end of Craig's route, he doesn't really go through a character arc or anything. He tries to be less stressed, I think, but he's still a dude bro that only really reminisces with you about college. In a good story and choice driven game, I'd kind of expect some big personality shift or realization brought about by you and your choices. Compare this to another sillier YouTube or visual novel I covered a while ago, Asagao Academy. In each route, the character has a change in personality caused by you entering their lives, by you influencing them. Your character also goes through a shift depending on their love interest, like becoming bolder or more sympathetic or discovering a new interest. And it's because of this that the romance can at least feel somewhat real and you can kinda see it slowly form. Dream Daddy just doesn't really do that for me. I didn't know much about most of the characters when it came time to pick a route, and I didn't really know what kind of story I would be experiencing with each one of them. And the person I did choose didn't really change himself or my character by the end, and there wasn't really much build up to the relationship. It was more just, surprise, romance all of a sudden. Now, to be fair, I did only do the one route, and maybe Craig's is just the most poorly written and all the others are great or something. But I feel like if a dating sim doesn't grab your attention in one route, no matter which one it is, even the joke ones, it just probably never will. So I would say that if you like the Grumps, or just think you'd like the game in general, go ahead and try it. It's not bad, it's just, I feel like the game could have been a little bit better. Also, I know I joked about the McElroys, but I seriously think some of these achievements were McElroy inspired. Soft Boy, Knife Dad... It, it just has to be the McElroy, so there's no other possible explanation. This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. We worked really hard to lock it down for you. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. But their systems are seriously broken, ah, what a bitch.